Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna to be remaking the recipe that you guys made famous. All I did was share how we make our turkey here at home. And friends, this is the best recipe you're gonna have for turkey. Not only is it juicy, it's cooked to perfection, and even those turkey haters ended up loving this recipe. So all I'm gonna to do today is make it super quick and easy, one of those recipes that you can just go to and boom, done style. Now let's go over our ingredients. Let's start by cleaning our turkey. I'm gonna have a handful of salt and I'm gonna sprinkle it everywhere. And I'm gonna scrub it for a good two to three minutes just to make sure that we have scrubbed our turkey, exfoliated well, so that we can get a real crispy skin. And if you're scared to stick your hand in the inside, then you shouldn't be eating this turkey. <laughs> I'm just kidding, get some gloves. Get somebody brave to do it. So I use anywhere from one to three tablespoons, depends on my mood. Today you can see that I went heavy on the salt. Uh, what kind of turkey are you using, the brand? Today I'm using the HEB Natural Young Turkey. Young Turkey is my favorite. After you scrub your turkey, you wanna rinse with some cold water. And one of our turkeys is missing a wing, but that's okay. Yes. We had a difficult time finding our turkey this year and we're just grateful. We are. And boom, done, we've cleaned our turkey. Now I'm just gonna make sure to drain any kind of water that's left in the crevice, and I'm gonna place this on a safe and poultry cutting board while Cloud finishes disinfecting our sink. <laughs> Thanks, Cloud. You got it. To your bowl, you wanna add half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of ranch dressing, half a cup of melted butter. For our seasonings, we have half a tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of parsley. Combine all your ingredients, and set it to the side. In a big bowl, you wanna add about two pounds of your herb seasoned stuffing. Two cups of chopped onions and two cups of chopped celery two tablespoons of dried parsley, one and a half sticks of melted butter, three and three fourths cups of chicken broth. And at this point, it's time for us to combine all our ingredients. You can also add your favorite type of herbs or seasonings to this. Let us know in the comments what your favorites are. And now it's time to take our sauce mixture and coat it all over our turkey. And you wanna make sure to coat every little crevice, even going inside the neck. Take the sauce and place it in the cavity. You know what, Cloud, I don't need you making those faces right now. <laughs> Somebody has to do this job, okay? And, and if you're the one, <laughs> and if it's you guys, I'm proud of you. Somebody has to do it. It's really not that bad. What you won't do <laughs> for love. <laughs> you are loved and appreciated. And I love you guys too. That's why I'm making this a little bit shorter for you guys. Millions of people have made this recipe and the feedback was 9.99 out of 10. Yay, I'm so happy this recipe worked for you guys. One of the things that you shouldn't do with this turkey is lift the skin in order to get some of the sauce in there. Friends, I'm gonna tell you this turkey, the combination that we just did, it really brings some flavor. So now that we're done, I'm gonna be placing the stuffing right inside. But if you don't wanna do that, feel free to make it comfortable for your home. By adding about three to four big apples right in the cavity so we can keep that structure. Okay, we want you guys to present this in your home and we don't want a Christmas story scenario here. We, we want a really beautiful turkey. Make sure to keep your hands clean and even though my hands are gonna get dirty again, I'm gonna keep them clean. Take your stuffing and make a nice little ball by pressing it together this way. That's not a little ball, that's a vol volleyball. It's a softball. Okay. Okay, it's gonna make it easier for you to place inside the cavity. See? <laughs> Stop, Cloud. <laughs> and when I'm placing the stuffing inside, I place it like this, and then I start like this, and then I push it in, okay? It's like just like that. I know I'm extra step by step, but we have a lot of um, 
new families that haven't made a turkey or some of you that are overseas and you miss your families and you guys need a little help to feel more at home. And Cloud and I are here. We love you. And we're happy that you want to make a turkey. <laughs> and once you're done stuffing your turkey, you're going to place an apple. Just pick the biggest apple you can find at the grocery store. That's going to keep our stuffing in place. Now I'm gonna add our chicken broth to the sides of our tray. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna produce enough steam to really cook our turkey and also to keep it nice, tender, and juicy. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and seal our turkey nice and tight with the foil. Depending on the size of the foil, I use five or six sheets and I align it at the bottom of my foil tray and then I'm just gonna seal it nice and tight and this is gonna help us produce enough steam and enough heat to cook our turkey fully and keep it juicy. I have a 19 pound turkey, which means I'm going to be baking at 350 degrees for four and a half hours. Then I'm gonna show you a perfect technique to get a perfect roast and crispy skin. After four and a half hours, place your oven on broil. Remove the foil and continue to roast for another 35 to 40 minutes until you achieve the golden roast that we all love. And I am going to say to you guys while you're observing this beautiful juicy turkey that when you end up baking at the max time as suggested on your label, make sure you have a thermometer. I'm going to leave all the temperatures uh, that you should be uh, aiming for, okay? The turkey thermometer was faulty in this one, right? You know, I have yet to receive a turkey where my thermometer actually works. And boom, done! Who's ready for a taste? The juicy is turkey of your life. It's pouring with juice. Absolutely divine. My mouth, my mouth is watering right now. I want to know who likes the dark meat. Let me know in the comments. Or if you're a, a white meat lover, let me know. I might love everything. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I'm white meat, white meat okay. but for my uh, leftovers, I love the dark meat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna press, but you can see right here how juicy this turkey is, and it's fully cooked. I'll slice another piece right here for some of you that get nervous. Ta-da! <laughs> More juicy turkey, just for you. Get that, all that juice. Fully cooked. Yummy. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... I don't know, each year it gets better and better. I think you guys are really gonna love this turkey recipe for those of you that haven't tried it. And for those of you that are coming for round two, thank you so much for uh, visiting us during the holidays. Cloud and I really appreciate your comments and for letting us know that we're doing a good job. Yes, we do. I noticed you didn't fully load your plate with all the other stuff. You're being shy. Or is it you're saving room for us? I'm saving room. <laughs> It's succulent. It really is succulent. <laughs> it's succulent and it amazes me how much flavor pulls through your turkey. For me, it's kind of difficult to have turkey somewhere else. I'm not gonna complain, but this is a juicy, tender turkey cooked to perfection. And when you make it and you're like, you know what, Steph, you were right, come back and let us know in the comments what your family thought. And most of all, so I can tell you how proud I am of you because I get so happy 
when you guys make these recipes and you're successful in your homes. Any advice for first time turkey makers? Yes, it can be very intimidating if it's your first time making a turkey and sometimes even if it's your second time. I suggest make sure you look at the label and see the cook time for the pounds for your turkey. For ours, it's anywhere from uh, four to four and a half hours. And for our turkey, it really did take four and a half hours and then opening it up so that we can roast it. And that cooked it uh, fully. And the best part is that it doesn't get dry. What should we do with the leftovers? Come back to the channel for leftovers. Last year we made tacos, but we usually use the leftovers and make something super delicious. And if you guys didn't get to see the video that we posted with our leftovers, make sure to look in the description and I'll place it here at the end. As I mentioned throughout the video, friends, I do have a recipe for a turkey that's really long in detail from when I open the package of the turkey to when we stuff it to when you take it out and roast it. It has so many de details and this recipe was just for you guys that need it super fast. Yeah. <laughs> As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We want to wish you all a very happy and safe holiday season. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.